So yesterday I went on a walk for the park with an old friend of mine who I used to speak for like six hours a day, almost every single day for so long, for years of my life before I started actual self-improvement. And now we're in the same high school and I thought to myself, you know, we could go on a walk, we could talk to each other about how our lives have been because we haven't spoken in ages, right? Ages. And so I think to myself, yeah, let's go on a walk, let's see how it goes. And there's been something very interesting that I've only been able to realize about this person yesterday. And that is the fact that this person has a very melancholic nature to them, a very melancholic personality, which gives me a bunch of bizarre feelings that I think are negative. I cannot even put my finger on it. It's such a weird kind of influence that this person has on me. And thinking more about it, I realized that this has been something that has been going on ever since I started speaking to this person. It's never actually stopped and even now after almost two years of self-improvement of changing my mind changing my beliefs changing the way that I act around other people this person still has a tight control over my emotions over the way that I feel in the present moment for like an hour and a half worth of talking even my posture felt a little bit off because of this one random person how weird is that how weird that this one random person has so much control over me even now and this is not something that I say with a lot of pride because everybody would like to say that we're all different people now and that things are completely different and I'm such a stronger person now. Look at me, I'm, I've changed my mind, I've changed my old ways, I've destroyed my addictions, I'm such a new better person. But at the same time, I'm still getting negatively influenced with all of these kinds of weird, melancholic, bizarre emotions and feelings by this person that I barely spoke to in the last two years of my life. And now I speak to them for an hour and a half and all of these old memories and old feelings and emotions come right back to me. And as I left this interaction, as I thought more about it up until today, when I journaled about this entire thing, and I realized that this is the biggest piece of proof that I have that other people have this weird influence on us that we cannot genuinely control. You've probably had friends like this. If not, you probably still do have friends like this or certain people in your life who just influence you in this way and you feel like it's not something that you can control. Maybe it's not not something that you've even thought about up until this point when I've mentioned it. But now thinking about it, maybe it actually comes up in your mind, this one person, this one thing that they've said, which just changed so much of your old, actual, authentic personality. So interesting, isn't it? How one person can dictate what you think, how you behave, your posture, your bodily posture, even after two years of development in one hour and a half. How mad is that? And so keeping my story in mind, you need to understand that people will always have a level of control over you. People will always be able to influence you in a way or another. And that might feel like something very helpless and very negative to think about, right? You will always have people around you who will negatively influence you, who will make your life horrible. That's horrible, man. Like, I hate that. But have you thought about the fact that you can choose the people that you spend your time with? That's the interesting part. You can choose the people that you let influence you. You can choose to be influenced by people that you genuinely care about, that you love, that you know have so many amazing things to share with you. All you have to do is you have to surround yourself with those people. You have to be around people who you know care about you, people who want the best for you. You must raise your standards for the people that you have in your life, that being your family, that being your friends, that being the lover that you have, the girl, the woman that you might be with, the random people that you see on a daily basis. If you don't raise your standards for these people, you will never be able to grow. You will never be capable of achieving true growth and realizing your true potential. If you don't raise your expectations for the people that you have in your life, you will always have this low bar for the people around you. And all of these people, they will always perform at their lowest, right? They will always perform at the bar that you set for them and the bar that other people always set for them as well, which is most likely very low as well. They always perform at this very low state. And keep in mind what I previously said, right? People will always have some sort of level of control over you, some sort of influence over you. And if those people that you have in your life perform at their lowest, at their weakest, what do you think? will happen to you do you think that you'll be here way high above them performing at your best no you'll be here you'll be down here because these people are directly influencing you just by simply being around you by simply talking to you by sharing an idea by sharing eye contact with you by being in your presence by being around you physically they influence you and that makes you perform worse if those people don't have high expectations set out for them and so in order for you to have high expectations and high standards for yourself which is to raise your self-esteem to raise your self-confidence, to know that you can do more and to do it, you must also raise and set high standards for the people around you, for the people that you consistently have in your life, that you know have a strong influence over you. Maybe that means that you will have to talk to your friends or to your family members or to your lover about something that you don't like about them, about something that you would like to see change, which you know is directly influencing you and would make that person's life better as well. 
And sadly, there will be some certain relationships with the people around you that you will have to sacrifice. There will be some certain people that you will have to get rid of from your life. People who don't respect the fact that you have higher expectations for them. People who don't want to grow. People who just want to be at this mediocre level in their lives. I've mentioned before and you need to understand that if you keep being around mediocre people, you're going to be nothing but mediocre yourself. This might hurt very much to know that you will have to get rid of some people from your life. Of course, this is much harder to do if it's family, if it's close people who you see on a daily basis. You might not want to get rid of your family, right? They're people that you love. They're people that you've been raised with. And you should continuously try to help those people. But other people, you know, who don't have this bigger importance in your life, like random friends, this one girl that you kind of like, she kind of likes you or whatever, but you don't, you're not really good together and things are only going bad. You're not making any more self-improvement progress because you're spending time with this girl or you're with your friends and things don't really seem to work together. Your self-improvement activities, your way of life doesn't seem to correlate with theirs. And if they refuse to change that, if they refuse to change for the better and they just keep living this mediocre existence, that only they seem to be content with, you're going to have to sacrifice those relationships. There's going to be several times in your life, several hard periods of your life, when you're going to have to be on your own, when you're not going to have people around you who will understand you, when you're not going to be understood and you're not going to have somebody patting your shoulder all the time, telling you, yeah, I understand, buddy, I got you. There will be certain points in your life when those people won't exist. And again, you want to keep your family around you, right? Those are people that you cannot really get rid of. And I wouldn't recommend getting rid of your family, right? Unless they're like super horrible people that have done nothing but ruin your life up until this point, then maybe that would be the best choice. But most of the time, they're actually people who care about you. But they have this very warped, socially conditioned way of life that if you could try to improve to some extent, that would be amazing. But if you have friends, if you have love interests, all these kinds of people around you, which are not that close as family, and they don't want to change, then what's the point in trying to change them when they don't even want to change, when they won't change? No matter how much you try to explain to them, this is what you must do. Look at it. It's ruining your life. Doing this, playing video games, masturbating, eating junk food, being around this other person is ruining your life. And if that person doesn't even want to understand it, they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever you say, bro. Or, you know, they say, yeah, okay, I understand. Yeah, I'm going to do something and they don't do anything about it. Then it means that they don't want to change. It means that you're just wasting your time. You're wasting your resources on people who don't want to be better people. People who will only drag you down. And so you must sacrifice those relationships which are not truly important and meaningful to you. You must find people around you who truly want to see you grow. People who do not accept mediocrity. People who do not accept laziness. All of this stupid social conditioning that is going on nowadays. All of these other stupid influences that people have on you. People who do not accept these kinds of horrible things that are ruining our lives. These are the kinds of people that you must surround yourself with. So yeah, man, if you feel like this video has been helpful to you, if you feel like this video has sparked some inner desire within you to take responsibility for yourself and for other people who are close to you and to better manage your influences, then why not subscribe and like the video? Maybe comment something and it'll help me with the algorithm. It'll help the video be sent out to more people who might just get some value out of this as well. And by the way, I've started free self-improvement coaching through one-to-one calls. If you want any sort of self-improvement advice, tips, help, Or if you just want to simply talk about self-improvement, your self-improvement journey, click the link in the description. It's a Calendly link. It will send you to my page and we'll get a call scheduled then and we'll see each other then. So yeah, man, I hope that this video has been of value to you, man. And I'll see you next time. Good luck.